Hi everybody. Before we get started, I just want to acknowledge that I am living, laughing, loving, and playing on the ancestral lands of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh nations. And in understanding that, I understand that it is my job as a stolen person on stolen land to continue to fight alongside land defenders to return the land to its rightful owners. So, my name is Sharday Alexis. Uh, I'm an artist, illustrator, and educator living in so-called Vancouver. Uh, I am a recent graduate from Emily Carr University, and I'm pursuing art as a means of teaching. I love working with kids, and I love bringing art to families and bringing art to children uh, specifically. So, I earlier I said that I'm an illustrator, and I think it's really important in order to get to know me, to understand my practice and my art making, to understand what an illustrator is. Basically, there's illustrators and there's artists, and I fit a little bit in between. Um, an illustrator means that when I make an art piece, I have a clear message that I want the person looking at my art to understand. I want the person to really understand what I'm trying to tell them. Um, and whereas art making, rather than illustrating, there's often not such a clear message in the work. Oftentimes, we as the people looking at the art can understand it however we want. Whereas with my work, I want the, under, the viewer to understand something very specific. Um, so usually what I'm trying to get people to understand when they look at my art is I want them to see that Black people are beautiful and that Black people are interesting and that Black people are exciting and that Black people are colorful and that we come from a very long line of beautiful, joyful, amazing people. And I want people to see that when they look at my work. So I've, I don't know if I've said portrait yet, but what we're doing today is making self-portraits. Um, and I think before we go into making our, our self-portraits of ourselves, I think it's important to understand what a portrait is. A portrait is basically any piece of art that is showing the viewer a person. Um, so a portrait can have a person in it, it can have a face in it, it can have their whole body in it, or it can have no person at all. A portrait of me could just be my bedroom because you learn a lot about me from looking at my bedroom. The portraits that I make and the portraits that we will be making today are going to be of our faces um, because I think that people's faces tell us so much. The way that we look at people, the facial expressions we make, um, our facial features, all of those things tell people a lot about us. And when we make portraits, it's really important to be looking at those little details in the face. And when we make a portrait of someone, we're telling us, the viewer, that the person in this portrait is important. The person in this portrait deserves to be understood. They deserve to be looked at. They deserve to be thought about. And so when we make self-portraits, we're telling the world or the people that we show our art to that we are worth looking at and we are worth thinking about. And to me, a self-portrait is a really, really special act of self-love. Uh, when I was making my portrait that I'll be sharing with you in a little bit, I got to look at my face. I got to get really close to my face and really look at it. I got to look at how far apart my eyes are. I got to look at how big my lips are, how round my face is, what my eyebrows look like. I really got to really look at my face and understand what is there and what about this makes me Chardet. And I think that's really exciting. Another thing that's really important is to understand what we want our portrait to do. So a portrait can tell us everything about a person. It can tell us what they like. It can tell us uh, where they live. It can tell us where they're from. It can tell us about their family. We just need to include those things into the portrait. Um, so basically, all you need for a self-portrait is either a photo of yourself or a mirror, some drawing materials. I use markers. I have lots of markers. I also use pencil and eraser to start with. Um, and you need some paper. You can use colorful paper. You can use cardboard. You can use fancy watercolor paper. You can use construction paper. You can draw on anything that you like with anything you like. You can use pencil crayons. I've got some of those here. Pencil crayons. You can use markers, you can use paints, 
Or like I said before, you can just use plain old pencil and an eraser. Um, so, like I said before, you can also use a mirror or a photograph so that you can look at yourself. When we use a mirror, it's a little bit harder because our face is constantly moving while we're drawing ourselves, but that's why we can take photos because photos don't move and it's a lot easier to work from a photo because you can also zoom in on the photo. When I'm working, I usually use a photo of the person I'm drawing because it's really hard to get someone to sit that long for you to just sit there and draw them. That's, that's a long time, a lot of sitting. Um, so, like I said, making a portrait is about really looking at yourself closely. So there are some things that you wanna think about when you're drawing a portrait. I said some of those earlier, but I'm gonna go over some questions that we can think about while we're making, making our portraits. So you can start by asking, what shape is my face? Is it round? Is it square? Is it long? Is it short? Is it oval? Does it have a little bump here? Where are the bumps in my face? My face is very circular. So I really looked to see that my the shape of my head is quite round. And that's what you wanna start with when you're drawing a portrait. Start with the face shape. The next thing you wanna start thinking about is your facial features. You can think, what do my eyes look like? Are they brown? Are they green? Are they blue? Are they a mix of all, all of those? Uh, are my eyes close together? What shape are my eyes? Are they round? Are they almond shaped? Are they small? Are they big? Are they far apart? How about my nose? Does it stick out? Is it pointy? Is it flat? Are my nostrils big? Are they symmetrical? Usually they're not. And the next thing you can think about is your lips. Are they close together? How far are they from my nose? How far are they from my chin? You really wanna be thinking about all these little tiny details in your face. So now I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna play some music and you guys can draw along with me and watch my process of drawing myself. First, I will show you the final piece, Ooh. which is this. I made this portrait of myself using markers and some pens. And you can see that it doesn't look exactly like me. And that's because I'm not a camera. I can't make a drawing look exactly like a real life person. But that doesn't matter in my art. What matters is that I took the time to think about myself. I took the time to draw all those tiny little lines. I took the time to put all that color. I thought about what colors represent me. I thought about what colors make me feel happy. And I created this piece that may not look exactly like me, but it captures who I am because I spent that time with myself. So while we're working, let's remember that our portraits don't need to look exactly like us. All that matters is that when we made it, we were thinking about ourselves, we were giving ourselves some love, and we were telling the world that we deserve to be made into a portrait. We deserve to have art made of us. So I'm going to stop talking now, and I'll let you guys work.
Hi everybody. Hopefully within that time you were able to finish your portrait or start your portrait or do half of it or make multiple portraits. It really depends on how fast you work. To be honest, this took me about five hours. So if you didn't get your portrait done in this time, that is totally okay. You can take it and keep working on it long after this video has been played. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody for watching this. I wanted to congratulate you on taking some time to really love yourself and think about yourself and spend time with family making art. Because to me, I think that art is one of the most joyful things we can do together. Making art together is so special and it gives us it gives us a time to be with people. It gives us a time to be with ourselves. It gives us a time to be using our hands to make something beautiful. It gives us time to think. It gives us time to experiment and play and have fun. I want everybody to remember that making portraits and making art is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be liberating and it's supposed to be joyful. So I really hope that I was able to facilitate some joy with you guys. And I really hope that you made something that you really cherish and keep forever. And if not, I hope that this starts a practice of making self portraits or making portraits of the people you love. Because to me, there's no better way to tell someone that you love them by making a portrait of them. So happy creating and I hope everybody has a good rest of their day.